Hello everyone in Cyber World. Welcome back to another video. I'm Richard. And I'm Jennifer, and this is our channel we call Poor Man's DIY. Today we're going to try chemical wood burning. So we learned about this process for the first time from our friends Just Might DIY. They had a great video on it and we'll put a link up to it here somewhere. We'll figure that out. Anyhow, we watched it and it was fascinating. We thought sometime along the line, we could probably use this in a, in a project and we've got some coming up that we're definitely planning on using it. But before we do it, we wanna make sure that we can do it right. So we've done some more research and uh, we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. In order to complete this, we will need thickener and ammonium chloride. In addition to actually cause the chemical to burn into the wood, we're going to use a burner as well as a heating gun. Uh, we've seen both of them being used on, on various videos. We want to see which one is quicker and easier and does a better job. As part of this test, um, we're going to see if it works better with a piece of wood that already has stain on it or wood that doesn't have stain on it. Now, we're going to do two different uh, pieces of wood here for the, for the non-stained wood. Again, one of them, we're gonna be using an actual flame to do that, and the other one is the heating gun. We begin by creating a stencil for the image we will burn into the wood. Now for the chemical mixture, we're going to use six to eight teaspoons of the thickener and one tablespoon of the Imodium Chloride. We now combine the ingredients with a half cup of warm water. Now that we peeled off all the stickers, we're going to take the pieces of wood and place them outside and use the burner and burn off the wood. Now the reason why we're going to take them outside is because it produces a lot of smoke when burning the wood. Okay, so for the first test, we're going to try a heating gun.
Okay, so for the second test, we're going to try flame. And for the third test, we're going to test it on stain, but we're also going to use the, the flame again. All three of these came out really neat. I really like the looks about all three of them, but my favorite is this one. Okay, so um, it, this is the one that we use the heating gun on, and uh, obviously it's not as dark. I suspect if we uh, kept the heat on it even longer, it might have started to come out uh, like, the, like it did with the flame. This worked out much quicker. Now, um, at this point, this one is kind of cleaner around the letters, and these have burns because we put too much heat from the, from the flame on it. So I'm gonna see if we can uh, maybe sand some of this and see how uh, it might improve or take away from the burns. Uh, but let's see what, how that turns out. Let's give it a try. We are testing two different finishes to see which may work best with the burned images. In this case, we're using polyacrylic and mineral oil. Okay, so here are the final results of our testing. Um, this is the first piece. Uh, we actually used the torch on this one here, and then afterwards uh, we covered it with a poly acrylic. Um, this one actually is uh, not bad. I really like the fact that uh, the edges and whatnot of these are, the lines are very crisp and very clean. Uh, because of the burn, the letters and the emblem comes out really nicely. Uh, we made the mistake of uh, trying to clean it off uh, and, and it ended up spreading the, the soot around and it, it really got the rest of it dirty. So next time we would probably do a different method to try and clean that off and it might not be as bad. This one, we used a heat gun with the um, stickers and we went over it with it slowly and we also used the mineral oil, but it didn't come out too well. So I'm not too fond of this one. Yeah, I'm sorry, real quick to, to get back. The, one of the things on this one we also noticed is that the lines aren't very crisp on this one here. And I'm not sure what caused that. Is it because of the heating gun or possibly because we didn't put the uh, vinyl on it really tight and so the uh, the chemicals leaked under it and that's what burned? But um, uh, for some reason, the, the times that we used the flame, that actually was very sharp lines and this one bled pretty bad. Uh, so we're gonna have to do some more testing on that one to figure out uh, if it's the acrylic or if it's the heating gun. It's 
itself. All right, last but not least, uh, this one here is the, the, the piece that had stain on it first. And um, this one actually, I like this one here. I think this Me is too. probably my favorite. Uh, the lines on here are really crisp, just like the first one. So I think rather than the heating gun, I like the using the torch uh, to, to burn the image on. Um, but if, as you can tell, there are places where the wood itself got burnt and that's kind of disappointing. Uh, you can probably see a little bit better close up here. Can you see that? All right. Um, so I think as a lesson on this one here, if we were going to do this one again, I think we just need to be a little more patient. I think um, it, it was very neat when we put the torch, all of a sudden the letter just started to pop. And it's like some places it didn't pop and it was just instinctively say, oh, let me just keep the flame on it a little bit longer. And then things came out. But what I'd realized was after the fact that it was also burning the wood uh, around it. So uh, the best solution for us, uh, we're going to have to do more testing on this was is just, just be patient, just keep going back and forth and allowing it to um, uh, bring out the letters and the emblem. Uh, if it does burn the wood itself too, it should be more consistent because we're, we're constantly moving it rather than spots which clearly we just kept the flame on for too long. So overall, um, this was perfect uh, test on, on this. I had a lot of fun with this Me one too. here. It was kind of along the line of uh, etching that we did on glasses and we've got a video on that one as well. Um, but now we have a, a project that we're working on for something uh, in the future we'll be able to show that but this is something that we're now convinced we want to go ahead and implement this onto that project so i hope you enjoyed this video this week um, we've got a few more going on and we're not sure which ones we're going to finish first so until we meet again bye bye, -bye.